so much. Okay, I've got another one. It's like hard to find even like the time to review this fruit because I've been finding so much fruit. This is something that I picked up in uh, Cebu in Malaysia and um, this is the only place I've seen it but it's very interesting to see like how if you go town to town in Borneo the fruits change. And you kind of like gradually you'll see some things in the north and then when you go to the south you're not seeing it so much then when you get further south those are gone and new fruits show up. This one is called Velvet Tamarind. It does not look like regular tamarind. Regular tamarind is the long bean-like thing. This is like a smaller little olive-shaped guy. They are related, but they're distantly related. They're in the same family, not in the same genus. So we'll see like how similar they taste. But looking at it, you can see why they call it velvet tamarind, because on the outside is actually velvety. And if you crack this open, it's got a, um, let's see there, it's got like a thin shell on it. So it's not too hard to open. Inside you have a little seed surrounded by fruit. And they're very like hollow in there. There's like a um, a little space of air. So if you take one of these, you can actually like you probably hear that. If you shake it, you hear the like the little seed like shaking around. Hmm. I already tell you it's a little drier and powdery than tamarind. Like regular tamarind is much more wet. It's got like like a dry paste kind of mouthfeel. It's not like that negative, but I would definitely go with regular tamarind as far as texture goes. Just a little bizarre. It's like a little like I don't know, almost like furry tasting. Not bad, but a little strange. I think some of them have more than one seed, um, but this one, there's just one. The flavor is um, very similar to tamarind. It tastes almost exactly like tamarind, and if um, you don't recall what tamarind tastes like, it's like a dry fruit taste. It's kind of like like dates or raisins or like prunes, like that kind of flavor, but with regular tamarind it's like a little more sour. Um, this one is not as sour as regular tamarind. It's not as flavorful as regular tamarind. Uh, and as I said before, it's a little more dry. However, it's still pretty good. So I've been eating a few of these and um, this is something I've noticed that's kind of annoying is that you open it up and it'll be bad inside. Like the black part is, or like the pasty part is like all like crumbly and I don't know what that is, like a bug got to it or something. Um, or it'll be like moldy on the inside, like that. And you can't tell. Like from the outside, you can't really tell if it's good or not. Maybe there's a way to tell. Like maybe if you like shake it just the right way, you can tell. I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's kind of annoying. So I have been um, going around the Kuching area with a fruit hunter friend of mine, Fabian, who has a much better knowledge of this stuff than me. He's from here, like he knows his stuff. I don't. And this is something that I never would have picked up on if it weren't for him, so thank you, Fabian, um, for this one. So I reviewed the Velvet Tamarind, which once you open this up, inside there is kind of like this black, uh, soft tamarind-like material on it. Well, he spotted these out. He's like, these are different. Uh, yeah, he's got like x-ray vision or something. I mean, look at them. They're exactly the same. I wouldn't be able to tell, but if you do come across these, you might 
come across uh, this one, as it's true. Well, like, check this out. You take this guy, you open it up. Look at that. Orange. You see how powdery this one is? It's very dry. And this one is really wet. So let's give it a comparison then. The orange ones are much drier. They're just kind of like powdery in your mouth. And it like disperses. Which is not exactly pleasant. The black ones, like when you eat that, you just kind of suck the flesh off. Which is kind of... Uh, it's fine. It's good. It's like having like a candy. The powdery ones just kind of give your mouth like a, like a weird feeling to it. The flavor is kind of similar, but the orange ones are more sour. They taste more like... Uh, they taste more like tamarind like candy. It tastes like a... Like a, like a can I read somewhere online that it tastes like a sweet tart. It does. It means it tastes like a sour candy. I think I actually prefer the black ones, just because of like what it's like uh, to take. It's easier just to kind of like put one in your mouth and just kind of like enjoy it. The powdery ones are just a little strange, but uh, not bad. Two completely different flavors though, which is really interesting seeing as they look exactly the same. Hey guys, before you click out, I just want to talk to you for one second. I want to tell you about my Patreon page that I started, okay? Patreon is a way of viewers of my series to contribute and help make my series even greater. So go and check it out. Just click on this screen. Actually, click on these bunnies here to be brought to... Hi, I know! Click on these bunnies here to go to my Patreon page where you can learn more about how to make my series even greater. Come on. They're adorable. Don't you want to click on them? Yes. Don't bite me.